Yo! Here we go. PGA Tour, get ready for some of this. We're going to Northern Trust, heading out of Manhattan. Supposedly it's not the longest drive in the world, which is great. We're gonna go to Kevin Chappell's hotel room and do a little podcast. Hi, how you doing? Hey, what's hey, up, man? Brother. Good to see you. All right, the car should be here. See you, Eric. How's it going, man? Uh, do you play golf? That camera? Yeah, it's a great camera, man. I've got one. It's perfect. A6500? No, the first one. The 63? Yeah. What's it going to? Going to the course. I've never taken a golf cart. <laughs> this is great. What's that? Did somebody leave you ticket? Is it, is no, no, I'm, I'm working. It's media. I don't... I think, can you just tell them I'm good to go? Because they don't know. That, uh, can I? I can't tell them that. I'll go, I'll go talk to them. Yeah, so I just need to go to the media center. Okay. Thank you. That's so how you do much. it. You just tell them... You're all good. You saw that, right? I mean, I am supposed to be here. I'm probably doing something wrong, that's for sure. I'm not, yo, uh... Yo, yo, buddy. Yo! <laughs> Tiger, Tiger Woods, though. Getting stuck as he feed in the mud. You have been caught in the flood. <laughs> While the water isn't part of we run, we put you so the harvest is us. Do you know where the you media tent is? Life, right here now. Oh. I gotta go get him from the media center. Thanks. Just getting dinged left, right, and center. Media center's that way, yeah? Media center? Uh, pretty good. Hey, there it is. Media center. You just have to say fuck and you find it. <laughs> that is, that is the AJ's, AJ's working here. All right, so we got an old burner here. What do you got? Any good questions lined up? Just follow directions. <laughs> okay, I'd like to welcome Harold Varner III into the interview room. Harold, you've obviously. Um... Thank you. Right, so we're gonna see if we can steal a Shake Shack burger. Thank you. How you doing? No issue. Just take a burger. It's yours for the having. Was that your best? Was that your best player today? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Are you guys starting you. podcast yet? Are you guys? This is like this is like a visual podcast are you right now. My boy Eric Arad? Yeah, yeah. We're cruising. Oh, these are all M's. What do you drive at home? A Jeep. Jeep. Jeep Grand Cherokee. You can have any car you want. Yeah, I, I tried that. Really? I'm just like a point A to point B guy. I drive over the curb on my way. Not a <laughs> not a flashy guy. Great, man. Do you ever just literally wake up and you're like, this is all I wanted? Yeah, but I can't, I can't let myself look at it that way because then you become, I feel like I become complacent. Right. So it's all about more. You know, you pinch yourself occasionally and give myself maybe a, a week or a, a couple days a year to like reflect and say, man, I'm doing a good job. Was like fully a big change for you? He was. He worked with some of the best players to ever live, and um, he's continued to educate himself. And and Sean like kind of transcends swing coach, right? I mean, he's not just just one thing. No, he he's a. Uh, I, I'm sure I've probably learned the most from him psycho psychoanalyzing me. You know, it's <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't say that like in a negative way. It's just like he he's taught me a different way to look, a different way to think, and he's taught. Um, but Joe and I. A, a, why we communicate the way we do and, and like how to understand each other when you know we're in the ebbs and flows of a day or of competition and, right. and uh you mean to hold that so i can yeah yeah, 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 yeah all right just, so we got, got uh you're gonna direction. basically take a hard you're gonna stay in the yeah left and then it's like a hard, hard left, left. midland app no case on the iphone x bro yeah no it's no crack. case no it's a crack and it's cracked live on the wild side man wow Favorite course to play in la you got to play all of them right all right so here's what we would say in school bel air is the most fun just the membership, the vibe, the... I'm gonna just turn this down a tiny bit, yeah. just for a sec. The membership, the vibe, um, just made it the most fun. Yeah. Um, did, you ever, did you ever get to play with like Larry Dave or anything like that? No, but we would see, you know, see those guys out there right. um, a lot. And then LA would be the best course. Yeah. Um, that was, but I was in school before the redo. Oh. Um, and even since then it's gotten better. And then Riviera was always in the best shape when we got to play it. Um, we played it, at, we played Riviera once a month or twice a month. And we have to be the first tee time off, off the back nine. 
and, uh, so, and then you had to turn by like 9.15, so you had to get the pace of play right. All right, two miles on this road, and then we're kind of veering right. Cool. Um, when you would play Riv, were you like, this is what I want, man, this is yeah, it, this yeah, is it. You got to, you know, Riv has the history of the, the tour event, and, right. and you got to, especially sometimes we had to volunteer out there, pick the range or whatever. Range. You, you were out there picking the range? Yeah, you know, giving range balls and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> That was our volunteer, so that they'd let us volunteer time, so they'd let us play. Right. Um, but you got to see, like, oh, this is how these guys play this hole. This is how these guys play this hole. And, uh, you know, try and go do it um, when you were in college. It was, it was always fun. Right. That's awesome. And then did you ever play Wilshire? Played Wilshire. So every Wednesday we go out to Wilshire. Wilshire Wednesdays. Lakeside at all? Yeah, I played Lakeside on Mondays. Lakeside might be, like, the most underrated course in L.A., in my opinion. It's challenging, but it's not, like, stupid. Yeah, it would... Like that would be my dream to play tour events on Lakeside every, every day. Right. Even though I'm not like a bunter and like work my ball like that, like I just think that that's a true test of golf. Like let's let's have small pop up greens and and uh, with some slope to them, and you got to control your ball going in the greens. Right. And there's some risk war risk war. Is it Liss Linwood here? Ditch it right up in front. <laughs> that's something I would do. How many? Uh, are there a lot of other people staying here? It seems like it. I didn't. There's I, not a lot of options. I ate dinner like by myself in the hotel bar last night and <laughs> didn't see anyone but it's crazy that fans don't come in you, you would know, think there's they a would few, like an event like this where everyone's kind of spread out um you won't get it but where where's like a good example like the tour championship well everyone stays at a hotel in atlanta and uh you, you'll see like the hotel hire security security guard for that john told me to get korean tonight what is that just reps in your room <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just see a photo ID. Yeah, I guess I can't just Fo Photo ID? Just Google the guy. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. You got a football team? Yeah, I'm a Niner fan. Nice. Um, they're, they're, re you know, they're rebuilding themselves. How old are you? 20, uh, no, I'm not 20. I'm 32. <laughs> 20, 32. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready when you are, bro. So what's your golfing background? Dude, so I hated golf until I'm 37 now. I hated golf until I tried it when I was 30. Really? Yeah, my brother loved it, and he's like the typical golfer, you know? So I was always like a weirdo, and I just tried it one day randomly, and I hit like a three-wood off the tee on the first hole, and I was like, that felt amazing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, Because I was baseball, like I could play, yeah. and then it's just like my life just turned, and now everything I do is golf. All right, there we go. Sound good? Yeah, don't wear both these. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Did you try to just create feedback? That was pretty good. <laughs> you don't have to wear both. You, okay. you, you're there. They're there for you if you want. Welcome to the Eric Lang Show, everybody. Dude, I'm so excited to have you here, Kevin. Yeah, we'll have great. a lot of fun. This is great, dude. Like we, uh, I, we, we didn't really record the first part of the podcast because we were driving over here in the old M5. I'm freaking out. I, I can't actually believe you played with Tiger today. Like, and and he just was like telling you thoughts about old he's, man. He's Woods. very. Um, He's very approachable. Yeah, that's and, crazy. Uh, which is awesome. I think it's great for the game. It's great for the future of the game because you're going to see um, him mentor young guys, mentor um, you know guys on tour, and and uh, really have an impact in a way that he hasn't typically had an impact. This is getting feels in the hotel room. Let's see this. Say goodbye for one. Right. So they have a club that's really heavy, so it supports the club being on its side. Because that's not strong enough to hold it in the or vertically, so it just falls. What do you mean you're not strong side. enough? Like, like your back? It, no, it weighs too, it weighs the... Oh, this is like a crazy training aid. That I made, yeah. You made it, it's got lead tape all around it. Yeah, this this is like... How this started was I was with Foley, and he's like, gotta get the club on its side, you gotta get the club more in front on its side. So I took two clubs and I swung. I'm like... Oh, huh, like that? And he's like, wow, that looks unbelievable. And so I'm like, oh, I'll just build a club that's the weight of two clubs. Right. <laughs> and so then I don't have to swing two clubs at once. Oh, man, I just, I'm always curious, like, what it must feel like to be you and hit the golf ball. Like, it must just feel great. Like, we should create that technology. <laughs> <laughs>